So at the start of 2022, on episode one, I asked, What the fuck is the vlog? Now we're on episode 23 and I wanted to use this opportunity to go over some of the year's highlights together. My most viewed episode of the year is actually the first video I ever planned for the channel. And in that video, I went over what the fuck Biggie actually meant when he said the following line. <clears throat> when I met you, I admit my first thought was the trick. You look so good, huh? I suck on your daddy's dick. What? That was such a fun video to do research on, so I'm really glad it's doing as well as it is. This year, I also had the opportunity to interview some really great artists, and one not so good one as well. I want to say a big thank you to Pressure K, Ignatus, Misanthropist, and Personal Space, as well as No Future, for letting me pick apart their artistic brains on indie interview. Here are some highlights from each of those interviews. Ignatus, can you please tell the people if you would rather Suck a homeless dude's toe. Yeah. Or urinate all over your own DJ equipment. Huh. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> as artists, as producers, as whatever. If you're in the media industry, I feel like you should take creativity from everything that you do. Yeah, like everything should inspire you in, in, in a sense, you know, like when you go for a walk, you should feel inspired from that walk. When you do something else, you should feel inspired from yeah, that. You have a few friends who can do some stuff, but in the end you have to do it yourself all at once. And some companies have 100 people for this. Yeah. They're doing this on Zoom. Literally. But I think it's good. It will learn you. And as long as you don't give up, I think you will make it. Yeah. When I came into this thing, I kind of like came into it more visually than music wise. And at the mm -hmm. start, that was bad because the music wasn't as good, but I always had dope artwork. You can go back and the artwork, even from the start, is sick. Because there was something about being visually locked in as well as the music being good that I just, I just, I, I had that on lock. And then um, I've always just been heavily inspired by music, like my whole life, like as a kid. I was always like that kid kind of banging around on pots and pans and shit. Oh, yeah. I had like a, like a keyboard, I had like a mini drum kit thing. Yeah, dude. dude Music has just always been in my blood. The channel also went through some changes throughout the year. I dropped the segment Diamonds in the Rough in favor of prioritizing indie interview. Expect some even bigger changes in 2023. Lastly, I want to thank every single person that watched this channel over the year. This additional platform has allowed me to create more content than I ever could. And that's exactly what I set out to do at the start of 2022. It's really nice to look back at the fruits of my labor and I really hope you enjoyed looking through them with me as well. I hope everyone has a great new year. And of course, don't forget to tell somebody you love them. I'll see y'all later. Peace. Take a journey with me. I don't know where to go. Just know I want to get out of here and out that dough. If you know a place, come on, share it with me. This